Hey, Pokey fam. So, just wanted to do a quick review of my Charizard UPC opening from yesterday. So, it's the first time opening up a uh, Ultra Premium collection. And, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun doing that live. Got to talk with a handful of my fans. And uh, I appreciate you all for uh, stopping by. So, Let's uh, do a quick recap here and uh, just kind of show you some of the highlights from the uh, the stream and what we got. Uh, there's this cool little uh, pamphlet that's got a kind of an overview of all the different sets. Um, you get the Charizard booster sleeves for uh, protecting your cards, obviously. It comes with these super heavy, these things had some meat to them. Do not throw those around for the uh, damage counters and then you got the tokens. Um, they're so heavy that like literally one of them had ripped out the side of that plastic wrap there. So solid metal. Um, and got the token V star token. You can get one of those all the time. There was nothing special about that one. So uh, just add that to the pile. Um, then we sorted out all of our booster packs. We got the fusion strike, the evolution. There's a really good variety in here. Um, hiding randomly in that middle box is the uh, heads or tails coin for that it was a uh, another solid metal Charizard one so at least that one matched the set yeah we got two vivid voltage one darkness blaze and then in the last container we had yeah the last of the packs and those Charizard alt art cards which are just amazing those I definitely saved to the end because it go out with a bang because I don't think any cards that I was going to pull tonight was going to beat those unless it was a uh, a Moonbrion. Spoiler alert, no Moonbrion. Otherwise the summoner channel would probably be like, Moonbrion? But uh, that'll happen another day. Fingers crossed. So we pulled out the Charizard uh, Godzilla mode playmat. I'll definitely have to use that in the future when uh, finding any sets with a good Ch Charizard chase card. For now, we're going to stick with the uh, the Ninja Pikachu. It's a pretty, pretty sweet card. Um, first packs we opened. Uh, had a fan request for Astro Radiant, so we hit that up first. We were hoping for that uh, first pack magic. Uh, it wasn't there, but I think this was the second pack, and we pulled our first V hit of the night. Boom, just like that. We got a cleaver, so that wasn't bad at all. Um, after that, I think it was still, yep, this was the other uh, remaining Astral Radiance. We pulled the Radiant Greninja. Um, I'm definitely a fan of those Radiant cards. They, get, they add a little extra flavor to it. Um, after that, we broke into the Brilliant Stars. I think this was the uh, the most hype pack of the night. Dug into it, doing a little slow roll here. We pulled. We got the Umbreon. It's not the Moonbreon, but, you know, we take what we can get with Hype of him, this card has uh, some actual value right now. It's a great trainer gallery card. And then we had the double hit behind it with that RCSV sneaking in back there. So it was definitely one of those woo -woo hype moments. Let's leave those guys up and uh, we kept rolling along. Yeah, that was definitely a, a really nice Moonbrion. Yeah, I call him Moonbrion now. That's his new name. They should rename him. Maybe they could uh, include a Moonbrion scene in uh, one of the new games. All right. I think we're still on Brilliant Stars at this point. It wasn't done giving. Not as exciting, but uh, everybody does love Lucario. So we got a Lucario Hollow there. Was pretty happy with that. And then we jumped into Fusion Strike. I've not had much luck with this set. Hopefully my luck will change. I got a, something at the end I'm revealing that uh, fingers crossed will be a, uh, a big hit. But no, this is literally the best pull I got. I was more excited about the spongy gloves than any other uh, card I got out of those pulls. Um, after that, we did our, our the chase set, right? We chased those evolutions. Trying to remember what we pulled here. All right, so we got the bag on. I love that. That's uh, the Yoshi light card, right? 
and you know Bagon. He eventually evolves into uh, a Salamance. So Salamance definitely a fan of that. A little bit of luck, I think, if I remember correctly. Oh, wait, we had the reverse Pikachu. Which led into. We got the Hollow Salamance. That was uh, the highlight from Evolving Skies, unfortunately. So uh, after that, we, we dove into Lost Origin, which was the most controversial part of my stream. First of all, you know, the code cards were in the packs backwards. And then as I'm opening this up, I could just tell there was something wrong with these cards. They felt, uh, they felt wrong. They were slipperier than usual. And... When you bend a Pokemon card, there's a, a little bit more resistance to them. A little bit thicker cardboard almost. So, all these, like, I've, I've opened Lost Origins. So, I mean, the cards themselves, the artwork looked on spot. Um, on stream, I literally tore one in half just because I wanted to see if I could see that black label. And, and there it was there on the bottom. Um, I ripped a few others open also. And I could also see that that black strip. So... Either this is just poor quality control, or the counterfeits are getting better. And it was the same thing in both packs. It was definitely uh, discouraging, but uh, we had to let that roll off our back, and the show had to keep going on. So we jumped into the Vivid Voltage. I think there was only two of these. Kind of weird how they did three, 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 and then they did like uh, two Vivid and one Darkness Ablaze, but uh, that's all right. There's still hits in all these sets, so... Just got to get them. Flip away the code card there. I know there uh, there is a chance for you snipers out there. If you uh, go check the live stream, I'll have that posted down below. Um, check that out. There might be some code cards for you. I don't play a lot of the, uh, the online game, but I have opened several packs. It definitely is, is a cool way. Maybe we'll do a pack battle or something like that with uh, my live pack versus an online version. That could be fun. And if any of you play the game, uh, let me know like what you think of it. Um, is it a good way to practice building decks, things like that? Uh, definitely would like to know. And then we were hoping here for the last pack magic. I was very happy. I do like Flaffy. He's one of my uh, favorite Pokemon. That whole Mareep, Flaffy, Ampharos evolution is great. And then we finally got to the main event. Got to open the Alt Art Charizard. So this, this is, these are the cards that make the whole box worthwhile. Regardless of what you get from the packs, these cards are, the artwork is amazing. So they got that, that textured finish to them. Um, as many people have been not great a lot of people haven't been happy with the uh, quality control on these and the first card definitely was not centered very good um, this one was better it's still not perfect but it was probably the best of the three I got as far as centering goes good shine we got that Godzilla Charizard so I mean that was that was a hype moment and then uh, after that, we got to our last one. We're looking forward to the Charizard versus Mew battle. And, ooh, look at that cut. That is a rough cut. Almost a misprint. Not quite far enough to see the, uh, the dots, but, yeah, definitely. I didn't get any PSA 10s out of this bundle. Um, you'd be curious to see how these cards grade out once uh, the PSA submissions start coming back for them. Probably be a couple months before we we know if this card is going to be uh, pulled up or if everybody's going to be opening all those boxes. And last but not least, um, if you're enjoying my content, in the next uh, week or so, we're going to be going live again. I got that Lost Origins ETB, and boom, we got this beautiful Fusion Strike Japanese booster box. Looking forward to opening that. Never opened one of these before, so. Definitely, if you guys are enjoying my content, please uh, hit the like button, subscribe, ding the notification bell if you want to know when I'm going live, post new content. 
definitely trying to do as much of that as I can and looking forward to doing more in the future. So thank you guys for stopping by. Catch you next time.